Nutritional status is the status of the body with respect to nutrition. So for instance, does your body have enough of each of the nutrients it needs within itself in order to do the various things it needs to do in order to fuel itself, in order to promote anatomy, and in order to promote physiology? Quite honestly, there's no perfect method for determining nutritional status. We usually try to use a few different methods in combination to give us a full picture. Uh, for our purposes in this course, you guys are going to determine your nutritional status through a diet analysis project. And quite honestly, you're pretty lucky that you get to use applications like my fitness pal nowadays to do a diet analysis. Cause back in the day, you had to do it all manually and like check out the nutrient breakdown of different foods manually, and that took a a long time to do. So like I just mentioned, one method of determining your nutritional status is to do it a diet, a diet analysis. And really what you're looking at is, well, I ate all these things and when I break down, let's say pizza, milk, etc., when I break that down into its specific nutrients and I look at the total amount of each of the nutrients I consume, is that meeting recommended intake values? or is it perhaps excessive? That's what you're essentially going to do in your diet analysis project. So this slide right here gives you one of the printouts from uh, my fitness pal that gives you kind of a clue or some ideas into the nutritional status of your body given the foods you've eaten, right? So basically what's happened is they've taken each of those foods, the program does this for you, and broken that down into its caloric value of each of those, those foods as well as the breakdown of certain nutrients for those foods as well. But you'll notice that it's not exhaustive, my fitness pal. We used to use other programs that had more of a of a comprehensive breakdown of all the nutrients but those programs are expensive <laughs> and in this project we're just going to get a general sense of your diet okay so once you've figured out how much you've eaten of each of the nutrients you're going to compare that to recommended values and we'll talk about those in the DRI section and then we'll figure out if our nutrient intake is adequate inadequate or excessive Something else you might want to do or some people do to check um, the status of nutrition in their body is to conduct laboratory tests. So here we have something called a blood lipid panel that basically looks at the breakdown of different lipids in the blood um, and determines whether you know they're at a range basically if they're too high or too low. For instance, and we'll learn about this later, if we have our LDL cholesterol, something sometimes called bad cholesterol, if that's too high, that's an indication that our diet might be might be off, might be promoting ill health, or it might mean that we're um, we're more likely to be obese, or we're more likely to not be getting enough a a exercise as well. So there's other factors that can affect nutritional status beyond what we just eat. Which is also why we might also look at the health or disease state of an individual. Because certain individuals with disease state, their nutritional needs are going to be different. So for instance, if someone has a genetic uh, mutation that affects their ability to absorb certain nutrients, we might want them to consume more of that particular nutrient or less to make sure that we're getting into adequate values. Another example is if someone has diabetes or has cardiovascular disease, maybe we, we might want to change the nutritional recommendations to make sure we get them into a proper nutritional status, okay? So all of these together paint a picture of, are you getting what your body needs in the right amounts?